when it comes to this type of technology uh, can you be able to clarify maybe what's the difference between what you're doing and what Maxwell is doing I know you both need an input energy system but like what's the difference between Lloyd's uh, technology and maybe Maxwell's type of technology the microsonic energy device Maxwell said it, Maxwell said it himself he's taking radio waves and he's amplifying those radio waves I'm taking solar energy and I don't need to amplify solar energy because it's giving you all the voltage you need. I take the MOSFETs, the same ones uh, Maxwell use, and I'm getting the current I need to charge my batteries. So once you do that, even though the technology comes from the MOSFETs, MOSFETs are not the only technology to use. They're inferior. Like I said, you have to cool them. And if you don't cool them, they actually literally uh, pop, explode, like Maxwell said. So if Maxwell turn off his cooling system, those things actually do blow up. It's not harmful. I mean, many of the components like capacitors pop. You see uh, uh, smoke come out of it. And... They're not harmful, but that they do blow up, actually blow up, okay? But those are the MOSFETs, and, and since they are the main drivers, it, it makes everything else useless in the system because they are the small little generators. If you don't generate anything, you have no power, so therefore everything else is obsolete. Like I say, he, he's talking to a person who understands components. Okay? And, and when we use those same components, I'm, you're going to see those if you study anything about Nikola Tesla. You, you'll see that he's using the components. You also see that other people who uh, use his, his patents, which I, I did send you, that he's getting amps and he's getting um, he's getting voltage okay and he explains hey I use a Nikolai Tesla's patent well if you if Maxwell used his patents he would eliminate the problem of overheating the MOSFETs because guess what he would not need to overheat the the MOSFETs because the transit energy spikes would be handled in his system I don't care if they had a gigabyte or uh, or even a trigger uh, 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 where we say wave. If it's on a wave that intense, which is over microwaves, over what's named, then you have to use Nikolai Teslas to handle those large spikes. So... So basically, basically, according to you, you believe that the biggest problem that Maxwell has right now, it must be overheating and damage. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. MOSFETs are very weak components. And like I say, if I'm wrong, then his product will be out soon. But remember, it's been over eight years and he still haven't put out a product. His investors are claiming that they're going to sue him because he won't show his, his work. So the whole point is, is that I said when I came out, I waited for years for him to bring out his product. Because he wasn't the only one who figured this out. But after so many years, I just said, look, I'll tell you guys the secret because we have newer technology. We're, we're way past this thing of just taking radio waves and amplifying them. We're way past this. That's old technology. It's over 100 years old. Nikolai Tesla was the first person to take radio waves and harness them. He, he has all the patents to prove that. But he also has the solutions that we didn't come up with. And when you look at the solution, it was like, oh, so we know we got transit energy. Remember, they put snuffer uh, circuits on 
the components to get rid of transit energy because they are they harmful to all the other circuit so if you when you use Nikola Tesla's uh, a patent you wouldn't have to worry about that I see so go ahead so it means you're saying that Maxwell has just he has to look at at Nikola Nikola Tesla's uh, patent to be able to solve the problem that he's facing right now yes but if he's if he's stubborn and saying well my work has nothing to do with Nikolai Tesla then you guys are going to be waiting uh, eight more years to see his product out okay because he doesn't want to learn from history he has to learn from people who've already done this and Nikola Tesla took radio waves and he started running light bulbs and what's names and everything else. You got to understand we built the crystal radio which we can use to change over to electricity and also run LEDs and light bulbs and other things like that. It runs on the same principle. Radio waves. In the last video you said that uh, you've been doing this for over 30 years. And many people came in the comment section asking, like, if you've been doing this for all this time, uh, like, where is that one thing that you can be able to show that you've been doing this, like the evidence or some sort of thing related to that? And that's the reason why I put out the video. If you don't know me, why would you assume? That's what I put the video on my channel. I was like, you all claiming that I didn't do this, I haven't done this, and my whole house runs on this technology for over eight years. So the whole point is, is that you have to know me before you can make that excuse that why haven't you brought this out? I have brought it out, but I'm in America, and America tries to suppress all this technology from all the other countries. And I'm dealing with that today because when I moved out of the America and moved to another country, you know what they started doing? Turning off my phone. Oh, we we don't we don't uh, send this technology over to this country. If you read the news, they said, "Wait a minute, Russia is not supposed to have uh, AI capability." They put a ban on it. They do this for every country. They do not want you using what we know in America already. Yeah. Which comes to that issue of suppression of suppression of free energy. You believe, like for instance, Maxwell keeps on claiming that security issues, security issues, are the reasons behind why he is, he is unable to, like, expand or maybe sell his products. And like, do you believe security is really behind the free energy, spreading of free energy to the people worldwide? Here's what I say. If it's that much of security he going through, I should be going through the same thing. I'm giving it out and telling everybody this for free. You know what he's getting a security uh, uh, issue at? He's trying to make money. Okay, that's all he's trying to do. So you're messing with other people's money. Okay, of course you people are going to come after you because it's all about money, especially if you tell your people that you have a website and you're selling a product and there's nothing on your website. Especially when you invite people to look at your things and then tell them they, they can't even get in the car. And then when you let, let them in the car, you you leave the country and leave them uh, standing ready to test. So now they're complaining and telling people around the world what what he did. That's just not professional to uh, tell somebody one thing and do another. So now he has to contend with me and I says, dude, I will give this stuff for you free. Come test it. I don't have to tell. I don't have to sell you my product. My product is for sale. But guess what? I will let you test it so you know that I'm not trying to scam you. 
I will let you do everything he won't do so you will know that at least one of us is legit and not trying to scam you. But guess who they gave the money to? They gave it to him. Now I said, and I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that at all. But guess what? I'm the one showing you how it works. You went over there to him and he hasn't shown you anything. Don't complain. And we're telling all the investors. Don't complain when you have someone you know who will give you all the answers, show you all the answers, show you the product, so everybody will be on the same page. So you'll know that what you're getting for your money. But you gave the money out and you didn't get anything for it. They were wrong for doing that. I saw some people in the comment section saying that uh, it's not really a crime as such because many companies accept pre-orders. Do you believe this is the same thing as that, like maybe a pre-order or something? Say it again. Say it slower. Uh, many people are saying that uh, it's not really a crime because we have a lot of companies which usually accept pre-orders for products before they are able to deliver much later. And they believe that maybe Maxwell is also just doing the same thing. I tell you to buy my product, right? Yeah. And you, you give me money. Yeah. It's eight years. I still haven't delivered the product. <laughs> How long are you going to wait? <laughs> Just let me know that answer. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just saying. Just let me know your answer. How long are you going to wait? <laughs> yeah, actually... This is quite strange. Anyways, this is strange in in Maxwell's case. It's just strange. I tried asking him about it, but he says that it's just social media and they are creating false narratives to damage his name, which again comes back to the free energy and suppression thing. But according to you, you are saying that you don't believe that is the case that is being suppressed by well, big I, I oil companies and all that. Not believe. This is what I can tell you. If you give me money on that larger scale and I just put it in the bank, after that long a period of time, I can give you your money back plus interest. Because guess what? I made money on other stuff. But yeah, the whole point right. is, you still haven't got your product. That's the point. Where's the product? Have you talked to one person that says, oh, I got the generator and showed you pictures of it? Or, hey, we're running it right now. And this is how well it runs. Where, where's these people at? Okay, so if, if, if he's working, if, if Maxwell is working with the government and he gets millions and millions of dollars and then he never gives out a product, if the investors get their money back, that means he just put it into the banking system or another thing at high yield and they return the very money. They still haven't got a product. Product. Right, and it, even if he just said, "Let me show, let me let you test my product," that's the difference. He said, "Maybe I can't put out the product right now, but let me get your instruments, come to the seminar, and let me so you can put your instruments and test if this is real or not." That would be something that you do with investors. But if the investor said he would not let us do that, even when he promised he would let us do it, we flow down to the company with our instruments to test the products and he would not let us test the products. They're saying that, not me. It's on video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that. Yes. And now you have me on the scene and I say hey investors come come test my product 
I know that it works. It's a it's it's not a new technology. I have full disclosure. It's, it's nothing dis disclosed. It's, look, it's old technology. You just didn't understand how Nikola Tesla uh, uh, products work. So let me explain it to you. Let you test it. And then guess what? You'll have a generator that can uh, generate powers from solar energy, atmospheric energy, uh, 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 generators or um, what they call water dams okay any energy you put into this thing is, go is going to change it into uh, a usable current just like you get from your socket usable current not just voltage and that's the key